here's something that's interesting. I really think within our lifetimes, if it hasn't happened already, governments are going to start using AI to do uh, low level legislation. Um, and now I'm just like, I'm summarizing in a very op optimistic way. We've been talking about this a lot, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. good. So I got a friend of mine, Dr. Alan D. Thompson. Um, if you don't know about him, just check him out. He's a he's an AI expert, researcher. He's an explainer. He has a thing called the memo that comes out, I think like every two weeks or something like that. But it gives you this a really holistic state of the union of AI. And he's hyper optimistic and calls it human evolution, which I believe in that as well. If it's used well, uh, you get rid of the emotional factor and you just have something that's looking to solve problems. Yeah. And, you know, and so I think like it can at least give you five solutions that are not emotionally based, that are just addressed, that are supposed to kind of maximize the uh, positive probable outcome. And I think we may see a human AI uh, synergistic government, low, at least low level government impl implementation. Probably some country that's like can do that and not feel like they're betting yeah. the farm on it. And if they if it goes well, then other people implement it. Exactly. Yeah, I think so. We were we were talking about a AI president. Yeah. That you need a president that is immune to bias, corruption, yes. influence, and someone who just looks at things rationally and in an intelligent way that spans all the disciplines, right? Like, how could any president really be an expert in foreign policy, the environment, mm -hmm. economics, social justice, mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure, uh, immigration? Mm -hmm. It's not possible. How no. could one person really know the correct solutions to all those issues? Even if you're briefed, look, I can't imagine. I, all I do is run a podcast and do comedy and occasionally commentate on fights. And yep. all those three things, take up so much of my fucking time. Mm -hmm. My whole day today has been having conversations with people about replacement opponents because there's a mm -hmm. UFC coming out in two weeks. Oh, wow. So I've been having all these conversations with experts and people that I know and commentators of who can fit this spot and who who's ready and who's in shape and who's mm -hmm. turned the fight down. And how could anybody? That's not, that's so minor. That's a, my, my, uh, my role is so small. I have so little to do, and yet it's, it takes up so much of my time. How could anyone manage all of those things? They can't, but AI could. Yeah. And totally. a AI doesn't have a son that gets money from Burisma. I know. I know. It's like the thing about that. I know. Well, it's like, I mean, if you look at like, there's, it's really hard. I, I had, I had a term, I don't know if it exists, but I call it corporate, corporate crats. And most people in government essentially are corporate crats in, in the sense that the things that when I see people like vetoing things or not getting on board with certain things and you're like, well, that seems like that would be helpful, but you're choosing not to do that. It's like the influence of corporations on yes. even well-intentioned, you know, people that go into government and they're like, I want to make a difference. I want to yep. make a change. It just gets in there. It's so ball. baked. It's baked in there. It's and so in. I don't know how you're going to you're gonna overcome that. The only thing I can think of is like, because my thing is like, I'm not really political in the sense that I don't have a party. I'm pretty independent. I'm just like, I want to choose people that are, that are humble enough, that have enough humility to work with anybody that's that wants to solve a problem that they're yeah. that they're wanting to solve and to solve and to create solutions for the most amount of people possible that's kind of that's all i'm looking for because there is no excuse for any of us being all the inequity we see in all of the and all of this stuff is totally solvable if we were much more efficient with uh, how how well how resources are utilized how they're distributed and so forth